Aloha. With this video I just wanted to expand upon the perspective of like morally speaking out of turn or ethically speaking out of turn. So for example, if somebody were to ask me like what's going on on like an actual platform like that they were trying to like attack me in a way um, I would immediately respond to them, speak to the elders. And that's not to say I wouldn't say anything. That's to say there are certain things that need to be cross-referenced with uh, various layers of generations and thought processes and um, historical backgrounds and, and just like acknowledging of things. Um, this is in reference to a lot of different things, but specifically today I see Joe Rogan has a um, Navy SEAL on his, or ex-Navy SEAL on his podcast, and basically it's just like the most American podcast you could ever imagine. And who's going to, you know, talk shit about, you know, the most American thing ever, you know, like that. So it's, anyway... Um, <clears throat> the thing that they were talking about that kind of made me pay attention was their interpretations of what they think is going on. So they think um, that this or not the way they think is what's going on, just how they portray themselves to perceive what's going on. So um, one of their subjects was addressing the individuals who are talking about civil war or the reality of addressing the authority of this entire idea we call the colonial system across the earth uh, because the system is trying to gear up to install not only not only because of this but also because of the system gearing up to install an a universal order across the across you know state borders across um, international borders in order to unify this idea of this human one world thought you know we're all one we're all human uh, but in order to get there they have to jump over your speaking points they have to hop skip and jump over little hot topics that make the foundations of their empire weak so this is why individuals with big podcast channels fill their time so much with you know filler space empty empty nothing that really doesn't get to any points they can speak for like five hours but they really don't talk about any deep issues it's just this kind of like kind of like i referenced the my black friend sort of mentality uh, that is used by the mainstream media well it's used in reference to intellectual things too so it's like my intellectual friend uh, to get people over and it, this is how people get used not only just for certain things like race but other things like intelligence and people use they're, they're, they're using that's a user culture it's it because that's the colonial mindset. It's all about war. It's all about dominance. So when we bring up information that needs to be spoken about, we're talking about the spiritual warfare that is incomprehensible to individuals like Joe Rogan and the Navy SEAL. So they automatically demonize that as something like cuckoo and then overemphasize their perspective of what how they think they perceive what you're saying by saying well you say revolution you sound radical do you know what could happen with a revolution so they automatically turn into like defending the first world culture it, it, it's a system that constantly victimizes itself and, and plays the, the victim and the um uh the victim and the superhero over and over and over again so whatever the atmosphere of the the, the consciousness of the people is uh, will determine what the system plays at a particular time so don't get it twisted don't think that you know all this stuff about you know what joe, joe rogan has been saying you know con pertaining to race on benjamin heavily heavily 
um, out there in race. You know, uh, the black so-called black conscious community, certain um, certain uh, um, groups within or in and around the black conscious community are eventually going to address this individual. Not, I'm not saying like physically or anything like that. I'm just saying just like psychologically, uh, his triggers are going to work on certain people uh, and get you know perceived a certain way. And see, that's what the system wants is is people to get consumed by their emotions and not be really into like really informed about what's going on, because. We're not that stupid to interpret what's going on the way they do. Talking about civil war, like just like, you know, the South versus the North sort of shit. That's their intellect. That's their consciousness interpreting what's going on in the world. And they have to keep playing that story over and over and over again the same way they play the story over and over and over again in the movie theaters. Why do you think there's so many World War One and World War Two movies all the time? Why do you have to? Why do you think they always have to talk about Hitler and the Jews and anti-Semitism and create all of these little intricacies, these little complexities within something that you know is very simple? Like one thing that I would definitely mention if somebody were to ask me. Some people do ask me for, um, um, you know, well, what are your, what are, your, what are your thoughts on such and such and such and such? Well, like, what, what do you always talk about? Oh, that's what it is. You always talk about things that are wrong. Why don't you have any solutions? Well, I've said this many a times in different videos um, because I, this one in particular, I, because I had been stationed out in Hawaii. Um, I'm not saying this is the answer to everything, but it's a starting point to address the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex, the colonial program, decolonizing everything. Um, Hawaii itself is a huge military base for the colonial United States consciousness. And the Polynesian people are still protesting their, their presence there every single day. So that conversation, just like, you know, um, Bob from Globusters shut my, you know, the, our conversation down on the live stream by focusing it on this emotional, you know, defense mechanism, trying to demonize vegan warrior to make him look like the victim and so on and so forth. That's that's the tactic, the same kind of tactic that's used when you bring up like indigenous storylines in the mainstream public. Oh, and that's not important. We need to talk about how we're all human. You're just doing that old stuff. You, you know, that's the actual that's the actual tactic for the mind control. It's not singular like, "Oh, you're you're talking about racism. You're just like them." No, the more complex thing is the reverse psychology, the deeper the the, the second layer of the psychology that is has cons that has people defending the the system that makes their results that is the that is the mind control program the results of what they're defending because they're three two three four and five steps behind of the behind the system this is how you can get um, people with good intentions to actually pay into uh, their own in th their own self enslavement so. In reference to Hawaii specifically, um, and I'm not saying, like I said, this is not the answers or anything. I, I know there are many other different topics that I would say that need to be addressed. This is just one obvious thing because it deals directly. It, it just pinged for me because it deals directly with the, the current event of that Navy SEAL on that that whole podcast. I didn't even listen to the whole podcast. I only listened to a couple of little clips that they put you know pulled out of the whole live stream and that's all i needed to know because i know for sure that the entire colonial from what i just saw the entire colonial system will never be addressed by these individuals ever it doesn't matter you know how how far you want to think about that system so anyway this is pertaining to the military and the, the, that topic and the speaking out of turn and the authority of intellect intellect overall so all these things that this is how this all this stuff all fits together so specifically with my experience in the military involves going downtown in downtown honolulu or in waikiki and seeing uh well obviously the homelessness and the tourism and all the bullshit that's involved with that 
and then the military bases that are also down there. But beyond that, the Polynesian people who are still protesting every single day, pretty much in some way, shape or fashion, in many different shapes and fashions. And, and it, the only thing that needs to matter is the consciousness of protesting the presence has been alive and well every single day. They still have in different islands, even the Samoan, they have, the, they have their, their royalty and their whole, that whole thing. That stuff is still alive. You have New Zealand, you have, I mean, all over the place, this stuff is still alive. But simply because they don't have a, enough money, you know, for one example, uh, but they don't have a big enough microphone. It, 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 money uh, control or this whole colonial mindset controls, you know, the uh, what it, what is important. This is what I'm saying: the authority of what's important to speak on, and this ties into the idea of um, the mainstream cancer uh, through colonial consciousness in the white supremacy mind control program, all included. Not one, you know, focus only on one. It's all of that included. Um, Oh, shit, now I thought I lost my train of thought. A damn car driving by. Um, damn it, that shit throws me off every now and again. So the colonial, okay. So the colonial program, Hawaii. Um, let me just link back to where I think I can get. These stories are still okay. The authority to to speak on it and then create. A system where your voice is not even valid. Like basically, you're mentally unstable by speaking about, you know, by the way you approach certain stories. Something is wrong with you, uh, and and they can put themselves in that space to be the authority because they have said that they are the doctors, they are the smarter, they are the, also the medical authority. So they are the psychological authorities. So this is the card that's being played right now. And racism is tied into it. This is why it's so difficult for people to even speak on this. So um, you have the chaos people who are out there selling, you know, you know, all these people who are flocking to Owen Benjamin and um, flocking to different groups and communities and all this other stuff is because, you know, people don't know how to think for themselves because they're running away from something that has not been really acknowledged because people don't know how to acknowledge things so this is what happens people carry around all these unanswered questions and densities pertaining to the things that society hasn't even acknowledged that is very near and dear to our you know morals and ethics we can't even speak of it so take take my position for example me being of indini indigenous bloodline and then having like uh, of this land and then being in another culture Polynesian culture uh, where I have you know Samoan fam like family like close family like blood to me but the closest family members like since I've been a kid so I'm like I know a lot of that family that's out there and um, you know just being in Hawaii for that amount of time you pick up the feeling of what's going on out there. You make the connection because there's an obvious uh, discord between like the locals and you know the the howlies they call it that whole thing, and then um, that mentality that even exists. Why does that exist? Because it was in a, a colonial invasion, and and people are saying they're they're doing la 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 la. They're putting their fingers in their ears, saying la 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 la. I can't hear you. We're 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 giving you computers, and Walmart, and you're just ungrateful. La 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 la. We need every single military base on Oahu. La la la. And then that's how they keep the the story of the military industrial complex and the prison industrial complex alive they're telling you that they're they're enslaving you for your own benefit and then they only need these these um, figureheads that are also self-enslaved but they're rich or they're they're uh, wealthy self-enslaved so they're taken care of so they can just you know you know continue to uh, play that game and then just the same way the mainstream media sells the mainstream the sells the American dream. Just like you can do it, you can build your fence too. Just become a member of a bear. Just name yourself. I wanna be space bear. I wanna be flat earth bear. And then you can have all these 
you know, a, it's a new Disneyland. It's a Disneyland of thought. It's like, oh, this is refreshing, a new theme park. But it's substanceless. It's nothing. Uh, people call it an echo chamber. It's way more complex than that. It's actually, it's, it's the echo chamber just explains the a little portion of you know the consciousness of one faction of what that that system Owen Benjamin live stream and that whole thing is. There's a there's a, there's a, an, an entire uh, there's an entire consciousness that encompasses the the macro engagement with the psychology of the individuals that are calling themselves bears now and members and you know the follower follower mentality mentality and then the whole um substance like the empty sort of thing and then it defends itself by becoming the victim oh we can't even do this all this stuff so well this ties into the whole like side effects three years down the road um, with Flat Earth in particular, and it's obvious with Mark and Patricia and the Behind the Curve thing on Netflix that was called, you know, on hours upon hours of video on this channel years ago. So the same thing's happening with Joe Rogan, Alex Jones, and Owen Benjamin. The, the game is being played. They're characters just like Mark and Patricia. The only thing is you have to figure out what they're being used for. Well, just listen to them and, and cross-reference it with the depths of what you're, what you're, you know, been observing for however long. Just, you know, so it's kind of obvious to me when I hear stuff like that. You can hear the trends. that It's the language that's out there. So anyway, beyond that, the all-encompassing nature of, you know, what they're saying is of no never mind really when you talk about the authority of saying anything. Who the fuck has the authority to say anything on the Polynesian Islands? Obviously, the Polynesian people. So why the fuck are these assholes sitting on the podium talking shit forever and ever and ever? They're talking shit because they still hold that iron sword um, and, and still claim to be the saviors of the entire world from World War Two, World War One and World War Two. They're still playing that American dream baby boomer and beyond that colonial like uh american dream mentality like we, we're about freedom it's it's a commercial it's like mcdonald's it's the same way mcdonald's is seen for what it is now you know before you loved it when you're a kid I, I, well, there was nothing better <laughs> in in my day than to know that in the morning we were waking up in some kind of way we were gonna we were gonna get to mcdonald's and get a, a a bacon egg and cheese biscuit and you know as i got older get two of them and a hash brown oh so filling so delicious and then you realize you're eating plastic like greasy plastic um that is killing you and so you see the depths of that mind control but the it was it was like Anyway, now you see the extremes. So the same thing is happening with the so-called American dream, but not just the American dream, the psychology of what, where that even came from. The idea of authority controlling and conquering lands of the entire uh, peoples of all over the earth itself. Why isn't that even being spoken on? Why, why so much emphasis on the reactionary tactics of clearly not borderline, but clearly psychopathic um, beings. This is a cancerous, sick consciousness. They are poisoning babies and, and vaccinating, like causing, you know, spraying the skies and causing, you know, paralyzing Bill Gates, not even being allowed to India, like being paralyzing kids, you know, all, all the list goes on and on and on and on into the realms of the psychopathic nature of what's perceived as normal by the mainstream society that includes joe rogan owen benjamin and alex jones and, all, and especially obviously the the politicians and all that other stuff like i said shrink it back to the microcosm the polynesian people just being out there on their own just like the indigenous people in the americas and australia and everybody everybody else that was colonized just chilling in their little spot you know and then these people show up and just basically basically just gangster style just that just who ride all over their shit and just just take over and, and then tell you that you you can't even talk about what happened 
that's the most gangster ass shit that's out there but that's the norm that's where we are now and these these arrogant man children like Alex Jones Owen Benjamin and Joe Rogan the only thing they can do is you know threaten you with violence this is why they have to you know do that whole play that whole um tie it into the MMA UFC or the UFC thing is because you know they're trying to intimidate you into thinking that they're the most masculine consciousness beings of the entire world because they got the science this is it that's it they, they got the science and then they got the you know the most hardcore um strongest men so they're the strongest men and the strongest masculine intelligence which is the science community not this bullshit ass you know other shit <laughs> we're about mushrooms and dmt bitch and lifting weights it's like the american dream on shrooms it's it's the same shit what's the difference well you're not really on shrooms if you're talking about the american dream just imagine just being trapped inside like a vehicle on shrooms when you potentially could be like you're trapped in like a chevy nova on shrooms when you're talking about like the joe rogan version of you know interpreting this reality not even acknowledging the ancestral interpretations of that kind of tuned in magic you know and then you got the christian community um, that is way more complex obviously i know that than just the term christian community but when i say that and then I say the story, you know what I'm talking about. The factions of the Christian community who, you know, start attacking people because, um, you know, they they listen to their ancestors. Like people who are, who are, you know, hardcore Christian, not even hardcore Christian, but just like regular ass Christian factions, obviously Christian factions, whatever, who who literally say that. Um, if you, you know, do any kind of shamanic work, if you listen to any kind of shamanic teachings or take any kind of um, psychedelics or, you know, go into what that really means, uh, then something's wrong with you. Like you're a sinner and, and up to the extremes of whatever. And that comes from obviously the, the, the other mind control program, the religious mind control programs void of the spiritual connections that they're still demonizing our spiritual connections that's another side effect of the colonial mind control program that includes a white supremacy mind control program this is your blind hair this is why you had to have a blind hair blue eyed jesus out there to do that this is why you have certain um individuals this is why you had a uh um certain like in the behind the curve video it's 90 you know eight percent so-called white people was sprinkled in like you know a couple of you know here and there not you know you know not white people this is to control the the consciousness the psyche of uh, of a particular uh, m moment in time a lot of the times uh, controlling some of the times even a dialogue or a narrative that is not supposed to be played out until weeks months or even years down the road so a lot of this stuff this is this is why it's so uh, important to realize um, the the macro aspect of what's being said because if you're just listening to what's being said and reacting to that and not really going to the depths of how it affects the the larger storylines and you're just you're playing checkers in a three-tiered chess game you're not even playing chess you're playing checkers one move at a time and you're you you never have the move the next move it's always moving in defense or in reaction to the people that you keep giving the authority away to so you're not empowering yourself in any kind of way by uh, uh, from the from the jump from the get-go you're not even allowing yourself to to get anywhere you've already started out on the wrong foot they told because they've convinced you that the first step is forward when you haven't even realized you know that we got work to do before you know we start moving forward and like oh no what's wrong with you you're racist why why can't you let that go we need to move on we need to just we're all human well, wait a second hold on a second pump your brakes who, first of all, who made you the authority to tell us on tell us what we need to do in this situation? This goes back to the whole 
speaking out of turn shit. And I'll refer right back to the Hawaiian storyline or the Polynesian storyline again. Because it's a good example to, to really feel and know. It's a, it's a microcosm of a, of a macrocosm. So now we know the ways that we are not allowed to even speak. And that is, it's kind of like, it's not kind of like, it's, it's beyond the start at but start a, start at a space of you know what it feels like to understand understand and understand the term spiritual disrespect spiritually disrespectful when you speak out a turn as these diarrhea at the mouth individuals do just blah 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 i have a lot of numbers i have a lot of money i'm you know talking about good stuff like yeah you, i have chickens and i i'm doing compost piles and i'm catching water and you should do it too that that's the whole move on mentality that's the whole like we need to just get and and what's driving that a lot of the times uh, is the Christian sort of connection to that whole thing. This is why Owen Benjamin is pushing that now because he's being revealed for his political and his psychological uh, uh, limitations. He's not very smart in that realm. He doesn't know what he's really talking about. So that's why he has to play the the extreme card. It's very cheap. It's e it's it's simple to play the extreme card all the time. The way he says nigger and nigga nigga all the time, nigga nigga. That's it's easy to to play that card. It's it's weak. It's 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 yeah. So anyway, um you see the side so it's it's meant to have an effect. And you people you, you feel that you're like, "Wait a second, why? This seems a little forced." So and w when stuff like that seems forced, it's usually because it's meant to have a particular effect on you. Uh, there's something else there. That, that that means your intuition is like, wait a second. Hey, it's, it's like knocking at your head like, hey, something's not right about this situation. Uh, but it feels so good. Why? Because you're in now of a community of 5,000 people or whatever. And, and everything that th these people are talking about is so fresh and so new. It's a new Disneyland, like I said. So they just keep, you know, building these new Disneyland characters. Um, first, you know, one one day it's Daffy Duck, and one day it's like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, you know, Goofy, and sometimes they'll jump over to universes like Winnie the Pooh universe or the Marvel universe or the DC universe, whatever it is, you know, whatever the the next trending distraction is. Um, and now they're using individuals because it's a more direct. Um, it's a more direct consciousness. I, I've broken this down um, heavily um, when I spoke about Mark and Patricia about two years ago. When I spoke specifically about, because I used the flat earth as an example, or the flat earth community, so-called community, as an example of exactly what I'm saying right now. And it's only now coming into light with the whole Netflix stuff. So now I'm just revisiting it and, and saying it again in reference to you know the the, the overall um, need to complexify the 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 mind control program uh, by no longer because the the, the system is no longer a, able to control individuals by just um, you know putting a newspaper out there or putting something on the radio or putting out and then putting something on a TV and then putting something on the internet and then always having it in the education system but you know getting it more complex but then putting you know in on the social media and going in the depths of that and then and then you know triggering the psychological the spiritual and the physical warfare and another thing before I even go any further than that I was just thinking back to you know one of my most um, and traumatic experiences was <clears throat> as an adult was when 9-11 happened and I was in the army I just got there it was like nine months after I had my first duty station um, so you know I, I'm like freshly 18 uh, getting ready to be 19 yeah at that time and I'm like fuck man what the fuck you know, but completely by myself, just made this decision to come into the military. Completely, you know, I joined with two of my best friends. Uh, we all went to separate duty stations, did our own separate things. 
But this was a responsibility that, you know, you got to deal with. So I'm just thinking like, so the thing is, the, the point that I'm trying to make specifically with this is that at that time, it was 2001. So at that time, the Internet was very like brand new. But I was an adult so uh, that had uh, an experience with the computers from high school, which was brand new for me, uh, people mostly at that time. There was like a computer academy. So I started out in the law academy for like a few months and then the computer academy opened up and then um, the computer academy was needed to be filled by a lot of people. So they pulled a lot of the people, the kids that they thought, you know, thrive in the computer academy and they filled up the you know asked us and then you know said you should be a part of this it's going to be a good thing and then filled up this computer academy and then that's where I stayed after that um, throughout the rest of the high school it wasn't a really big deal it's just you had extra extra classes that were surrounding certain things like that so um it was starting this whole relationship with technology at a very young age like even before that in middle school I was on them Commodore computers you know playing you know uh, Pong and doing you know a little uh, typing you know trying to get your, your, your minutes per um, words per minute thing down that whole thing that's how they started it today's version is, is coding now it's gotten so quick and so complex it's just coding now so they got these kids instead of just learning how they're t- they don't give a shit about their I mean learning their min- words per minute is inherent now but it's mostly about you know how well you can code and do that whole thing so that that's another example of sucking people deeper in generations deeper in to the mind control program and the deeper and deeper they go with the, their belief systems the harder it is to get out of that so that's why it's so crucial to get um, the word out about how this system works and why this system exists in the first place to these younger generations because they're the ones that are going to have a more difficult time with clearing a lot of this shit out because if you know they do which a lot of them do go to the extreme some of them dive deep into that program because they don't want to be seen a certain way or they, they they think that you know that's still the most attractive thing you know who doesn't want to you know a super fancy phone and a car when you're like a high school adolescent mentality even when you're like 25 26 and all that other stuff you still have like a teenage like mental a teenage mind a lot of the times that's not far fetched in fact it in fact it's getting older you have like 30 year olds and 40 year olds uh, and 50 year olds who are still thinking like they're like 19 year old near years old and that's like that's giving them the, you know too much credit some of them you know, a lot of them actually so anyway um, controlling of the dialogue at, on a, even the micro level like an individual mouth like Joe Rogan or an individual mouth like Owen Benjamin all of these assholes speaking out of turn um, is a microcosm of the collective mouths of the state authority and the military authority and the colonial authority and the political authority that is all over talking and downplaying the 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 information and the perspectives of the Polynesian people in Hawaii. They're saying, like I said, they're saying, la, 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 la. We're not listening to you. You're Something's wrong with you. And then, like they, like I said, they, they try to victimize themselves by saying, oh, well, you don't like what we've given you. You don't like, you don't like pancakes, automated pancakes. We're getting ready to give you give you universal health care and all this other shit, whatever concessions they come come up with to sell the people, like I said, in all those other, you know, documentaries that will be to hide um, the the perspective of addressing the authority overall. So these individuals who do not know the the depths of the intricacies of the tentacles of that that authority mentality and what it connects to they're only going to spout off and regurgitate what, um, you know, what their beliefs is, what the brightest perspectives of their belief systems are, because they now a lot of the times they have this requirement from subscribers and, you know, in themselves. Now they think they have to speak on things. I mean, a lot of the times they don't really have to say anything. They shouldn't even be 
speak and, and i'm not saying this to shut anybody out obviously and that's an extreme and another like victimized sort of thing what i'm saying is that this is this is why this is the whole fucking point the point is there is a mind control program that is designed to control the narrative by speaking out of turn and also uh, demonizing perspective like it's, it's the complex wave that stems from all of that shit what's the intention that's the main point the intention is to control the narrative to demonize your perspective and and downplay it so this is why they say well your perspective is really just you know they try to label you you're you're religious or you're racist or you're you're anti-science or you're anti this or it's just about and then they say well it's just about this jesus jesus and then just you know pray to this you know that's another distraction to get you to you know get you sucked into uh like jesus 2.0 new world order uh, a new fancy like neon colored it's like scratch and sniff it's it's all very cheap it's cheap spiritual ism that's what it is it's like the new age community uh, it's the pinnacle of uh, mind control so <clears throat> the authority the polynesian people so you see where I'm talking, what I'm talking about, and the, all these individuals. So uh, the authority and, and the the uh, chaos that is inside a lot of these indiv- these these man children um, who speak about truth and information. A lot of the times, it's just their belief systems. Um, they have this relationship with technology, which fuels it fuels their. Um, relationship to having to engage in that chaotic world over and over and over again um and that's that is the pro that is how the process works to um distract people against distract people from going to the depths of what's really going on here uh, it's empowered midstream media truth to the umpteenth degree in the wake of of the mainstream media implosion in order to take the focus away from the all-encompassing macro stream of the awareness of what's going on with the 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 power source in the first place the cancer in the first place the the uh the the macro storyline of authority in the first place like the midstream media is being amplified the midstream truth this is this. These are the Alex Jones, the Owen Benjamins, and the Joe Rogans out there. They they pump. They put all their money like a stock market, like a stock in stocks and bonds. They put all their ep- the emphasis. That's what focus is. They put it all into these individuals, in order to control the dialogue, and then while while they're controlling the dialogue, the individuals who are regurgitating the dialogue that has been controlled now start running those programs on their own and creating their own programs to control the dialogue so it's like teaching your little next generations of mind controllers through their subconscious how to mind control other people this is inherent with the system this is a design inherent with the system and it's on front street with people like bob and from globe Lusters coming on the live streams you can tell the difference in communication in language you can tell the difference just listen to how like the depths of what we're talking about and you know the 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 style of interaction it, it doesn't take much to, you know to explain something but when you have to over dramatize something the way he was t- you know going at vegan warrior like that and constantly and repeating himself or i didn't say it, i 100 percent agree with you and then you know you can see the the limitations there it's very complex so anyway kind of lost my train of thought but i'll look back to it um hawaii i, I don't want to leave that either uh polynesian people so yeah oh that's what it was um because i want to kind of close this video out um yeah so my experience there that's a big part of that that's a big part of my experience in the military and my experience in um 
that kind of triggered because at that time when I was out there, that was part of my so-called awakening. When I started to question my reality and think for myself, I still had two years left in, of a, in my contract in the military. I was in Hawaii at that time. And part of that awakening came from having spent a year in Hawaii, also, you know, driving by the Polynesian people protesting outside the state building down in Honolulu or whatever, you know, down down in whatever buildings they were protesting at, political buildings down there. And you read the signs and then you actually research the information, what's going on, and then you see that you're a part of that. It's fucking horrible. Uh, and then you obviously see, like, the relationships between the tourists and the military and the military and the local people and it, the, the whole psychological warfare there. And then the off post housing and the on post housing and the golf courses, all this is toxic. It's extremely toxic. And you can see what's ha- how toxic it is by looking at the coral reefs that are out there. So this ties colonialism directly into the destruction of the entire earth and the world and how racism is definitely tied into this. Specifically, uh, the white supremacy mind control program that just is the introduced introduction to the colonial uh, mind control program of the entire world. See, you never hear Joe Rogan on Benjamin or uh, Alex Jones say the words, uh, say the word colonialism. They never reference that because that word is, you know, the, 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 it's just outside of their consciousness because they're either stuck in the, the religious mind control program of that comes as a result of colonialism or they're stuck in defending colonialism because they think it's the evolutionary peak of humanity um, or they're so oblivious to what's going on that they are themselves a manifestation of colonialism on every every layer of their you know of their cell of their spirit they are just like totally enveloped in that that's basically the undead the zombified you know soulless being you know to you know dramatize it for a moment but anyway Oh, so that's what it was, linking back to the whole idea of, you know, just speaking. I, I don't share this information. Like, if, like you, you can look back at these videos, because um, I do this myself. Uh, look, at, look back at these videos, you know, some months down the line or, or years down the line, and you'll see and hear things that um, you didn't see or hear before because there's many different layers going on here with uh, explaining like it, it gets very poetic it gets very kind of like like a lot of this stuff just flows over time because m- most of this stuff I had already said in in a different way and it's just kind of updating or or bringing it back to life based upon the current events because you know this is this is something that's being activated now just because I'm talking about it now doesn't mean it's my only focus I've already broken it everything that I'm talking about recently I've already broken this shit down hardcore sometimes many years ago I'm only speaking about a lot of this stuff now because I had already done broke this shit down some years ago and it's happening now it's only happening now so <laughs> the people who are new to the scene, they get butthurt and get all in their feelings and emotions and they just misinterpret where I'm coming from. And they think just because I mentioned something, that's the only thing that I talk about. You are your own problem <laughs> when you think like that. So um, that's not that's not at all what's going on here. So, yeah, one of the things that I would bring up is, um, you know, letting people know. If you want to start somewhere, start by comprehending, you know, sitting, sitting as much in the sh- in, in this in the shoes of the consciousness of like that that storyline. Put yourself in their perspective uh, as much as you can, or at least just think about the storyline. You know, ask yourself what what would you think of what do you think about that situation? What do you think about? You know, and, and, and this is the thing. I, I didn't really put too much emphasis on how bad it is out there. There are so... Okay, basically, Oahu and all of the uh, islands of Hawaii, uh, Hawaii are basically in, infested. 
It's an infestation, a military infestation. And they play they played it off. They, they, they do that to over dramatize the idea of this need for war, this need for a strategic military base. That's how they're selling the ownership of the Polynesian islands. Uh, because it's in between the China superpower and Jap- Japan, you know, and that whole thing back in World War II and that whole. So you see that that's how the American dream and that old colonial consciousness is being kept alive in everyday reality. And Joe Rogan is keeping that alive when he has, you know, Navy SEALs coming on to his podcast talking about, you know, what he's whatever he's talking about. But the point being is that, like I said, are we acknowledging the the not to say don't speak, but are we acknowledging the turns, the the uh, the speaking out of turn? Are we acknowledging the depths of the storyline? Sometimes we we may be talking about such a small universe or such a small perspective, and as soon as somebody says something else that you don't really comprehend, it it, it threatens that little perspective. Anyway. Um, Start acknowledging and not only acknowledge just to be acknowledged that you're, and yeah, that's the thing. Don't acknowledge to be acknowledged that you're acknowledging. That's fucking so, it's another version of fake and shit. It's people, people, it's just like, oh, it's so ridiculous. They think, they think they got it after like, you know, one video or one, you know, different perspective or one this and that. Oh, I got it. I know it. No, man. You still don't get it. If you just had one interaction, now you got it and you really, that's enough. You missed the whole fucking point again. You haven't given yourself enough time to get it. That's not to, you know, put, you know, any kind of pedestal or whatever out there. That's just to say, look, hey, give yourself some time to realize that. You might not know something. It's gonna take a lot. There, there's some things that you're not at all gonna know, because there's a there's a there's an intelligence that comes from actual experience. There are some experiences that you can't experience the same way. This is because that's the same difference between like like sympathy and empathy. You haven't experienced it. You can't experience certain things. So there's some things that we're only gonna know about. And what we're saying is that just because the microphone has been taken over by a certain, you know, authority figure for so long. Doesn't mean that that authority figure, uh, just because they had the microphone, means that they should have had the micro or it should have had the microphone. The intelligence of that it should have had the microphone. But they're telling you, no, we have the microphone, so we're the smartest ones that have the microphone. That's it. They're just telling you over and over and over again. And then playing your heartstrings. That's why, you know, Joe Rogan has these you know, real people and, and why Michael Franti has these real victims from these, a lot of the times, these events that happen that um, are driven by, uh, like, the Gulf of Tonkin incident with Vietnam. That's another false flag attack. Like, all these things that are out there. Um, it, they're, they're designed so you can see we're, we still haven't even acknowledged the Gulf of Tonkin in Vietnam in the civil so-called civil rights time frame. And now here we are in 2019. You got fucking Michael Fronte out here pushing this version of the, the Gulf of Tonkin. This is how fucking far away we are. And this ties in the new age mentality with that whole like we're human. No, that's it. You're, you are doing the work for them. And and they're, they're, a lot of the times their platform is is their religious like belief systems. So Christianity, just like technology makes people think and act a certain way, psychologically, you know, in the aftermath because uh, their relationship was anchored from like a relationship with a computer, like as a child. So it just gets you know more and more complex as they keep you know triggering those brain functionings over the years and then by the time they're adult they're not a regular they're not the same kind of being anymore like uh, an entire a being that didn't have that relationship is completely different so a lot of the a lot of their people's securities and intelligence and so on and so forth and interactions with this realm 
uh, are heavily locked into the relationship with technology. You take that technology away, what do people have? That's why a lot of these people have to defend technology as if it's uh, the pinnacle of, you know, the human evolutionary everything. So this is why it's taboo many times to even mention colonialism because what are you mentioning colonialism on? On technology, which is a result of colonialism. They're like, oh, we got them. That's a fucking like, (laughs) we got them in a trap that they can't get out of. It's like, what is that, a Chinese finger trap? (laughs) It's like you put your fingers in there, you can't get it out. So you pull harder. That's exactly what it is. It's like, oh, yeah, we got them now. It's a psychological thing, a Chinese finger trap. So anytime you talk, and if you emphasize it, then they just tell, they tell you that you're angry or you're, some, you're psychologically unstable or something's wrong with you because, you know, you had a troubled, um, you know, experience from growing up in the inner cities. And so, you know, they just downplay and use their, you know, medical authority figures to do the same thing over and over and over again. It's uh, it's we're getting hit from every aspect, including like the basic. This is why I said it's so important to speak on this shit to the umpteenth degree to always spread your fire out there as far as you can, um, because like I said, it's down. It's already down to the physical elemental er- uh, areas of what's going on. The water is at stake. The air is already being sprayed. So that puts the water at stake too. The life form is at stake when they're spraying the skies and all this other stuff. This is not to emphasize like a fear, whatever. For This is just to emphasize the fact that there are aspects that have been put in place by this colonial mind control process that uh, are affecting every element of our experience. And you have these um, distraction-based individuals who are still limited to that but they have they have they've been privileged in many different ways to and so they they don't really have to go to the depths of the storyline they only have to say so much they don't they don't have the 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 internal whatever the word is uh connection to go as far as you need to go because of the experiences that you've been through they can't empathize with you so when you express the passion that you have about what you're talking about it what you're talking about they literally cannot comprehend what you're saying so they have to call you crazy or incomprehensible so then they can't understand what you're saying or understand or overstand what you're saying because they haven't experienced it so in order to maintain control the authority of that interaction they have to demonize you they have to they have to or or become the victim there's many different ways to get out of it bob pretty much played every um every part of that getting out of it role um <clears throat> he was a perfect example of it and then you have people in the comment section who do the same thing they come into the comment section thinking that they got it and then they look back on their comments you know some sometime days and weeks later and realize you know how fucked up they are and and then and then since everybody is so you know social mediaized They're so like computer based. There's no accountability anymore. There's this space between whereas and so they just leave. They they come in and like vomit all over your rug in like your house. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Or like in in the dude, they they take a piss all over your rug. They're in the wrong fucking house. And then they leave like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You just pissed all over my fucking rug. And they're like, oh, fuck you. You, you shouldn't have been kind of wrong in the first place. Oh, you're wrong in this aspect. I'm like, wait a second. You weren't. What? First of all, who the, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck gave you the authority to come in my house and piss on my rug? And now that you've been called out for your bullshit, you're not even going to clean this shit up? Get the fuck out of here. And then, and then you want me to uh, acknowledge your talking points now after you've been pissed on my rug? Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck do you think, you know what I'm saying? So this, this, uh, and I'm going to close this out now because it just ties in the whole speaking out of turn thing. And I'm not saying I know what the turn is to speak or anything. All I'm saying is that there are plenty of examples of individuals who have been, you know, called out for speaking out, known for speaking out of turn. 
and, and, and this is a macro like see it from the macro don't try to see it from like the micro thing see it from a macro speaking out of turn in reference to like uh joe rogan only talking about technology and evolution and elon musk you know on stolen land on the blood and bones of the indigenous people not as a victim perspective just as an intellectual perspective as like uh take it to you know spiritual warfare psychological warfare spiritual you know uh, physical uh colonialism prison industrial complex mil industri military industrial complex like we can't even talk about this stuff largely because you know the accepted nature of addressing like stuff like colonialism is still a taboo a, to a taboo topic so we can't address the depths in the, the origins of the military industrial complex and the prison industrial complex because we haven't even allowed ourselves to address the, the, the uh, pillars and the origins of uh, what predates that, which is colonialism. Like, why do all these people have to be imprisoned? Why do all these people have to be paralyzed with vaccines? Why do all these people need to be um demonized as you know coming in over to this land which is their land by the way this is another uh, uh, thing of controlling the narrative the authority and so on and so forth so you know that th this is the maintaining they think that they, they have to keep selling like the armageddon movie like for people who are uh re already researched information about flat earth you you think about the armageddon movie how they've made bruce willis and ben affleck and Steven Tyler's daughter, whatever her name is, uh, uh, they made them like superheroes by sending Bruce Will. This is like a believable thing. Like this is what, <laughs> this this for them and that whole NASA thing at the time when Armageddon came out. Think about it. Think about it if if like Armageddon came out today. <laughs> if Armageddon came out today, you'd be like, what the fuck? But back then, in whenever it came out science was so believable in the mainstream consciousness that that that's that's like the pin, armageddon is like the pinnacle of it was like if they believe this shit then damn and that's the thing i like i believe that shit too because i was all into that the universe documentaries and tv shows and ancient aliens at that time so i soaked all that that, that was actually pre pre the universe stuff and when i got older is when i started to watch all that anyway uh, the other stuff anyway so but that's the thing even today that's still a talking point by the so-called scientism consciousness they're still telling you that we we have to like deflect asteroids with laser beams and shit like they're selling you the dr evil storyline it's a joke um but the thing is the point is like look at look at the authority that the system had at that time over the consciousness of the people so much so that they thought armageddon like think of it today with the amount of people who are questioning everything there's probably about like maybe and i'm just throwing numbers out there to get to, this is not at all any anywhere close to anything just, just to make it drastically obvious maybe today let's say 30 percent of the people 30 between 30 and 40 percent of the people would fall for like the Arm armageddon storyline now uh, let's say like 60 percent of the people would fall for the armageddon storyline today that's a better example 60 percent they're like oh yeah like we need to invest in laser beams nasa sponsored laser beams to keep asteroids from destroying the earth okay 60% of the population is going to believe that shit today. Back in 1998 or whenever the fuck Armageddon came out, back in that time, like 92% of the population was like, hell yeah, we need to invest in that shit. We need to get some fucking laser beams on top of these freaking sharks, you know, all this, you know what I'm saying? So they needed, they needed to, they, they needed to, uh, play that card so hardcore at that time so you know 20 30 years down the line they have people still believe in that shit but also they can go you know even further because it's the authority that makes the belief systems activate see we don't talk about the activation of the information people still get distracted by the emotion of the information or the linear constructs within the information 
they don't really allow themselves to get outside and address the macro uh, approach of the information. So I just wanted to, to leave that there, give these examples of speaking out of turn. Um, like if somebody were to ask me, like I said, if somebody were to ask me what's going on, I'd say if it was like on the on a on a platform like that, I'd be like, hey man, I got some people to talk to before I tell you anything. It's a it, it's a whole bunch of different people that need to be uh, having their voices heard before we start talking about what needs to happen and what we need to do. Now hold on a second. There's some things that I can say that we you know, could be doing a lot better and should be doing. But on like that, you know, bigger scale, I'm not telling you I got any answers. I don't have no, all the answers. I don't know all the shit in the hell. No, I'm not that person. All I'm saying is that we have some work to do. We can do it ourselves. And and and, and we, we're not going to allow ourselves to be able to do that work if we're still, you know, subjecting ourselves to the uh, limited approaches that are being you know pawned off on us by people who don't even have the authority then they're not even morally in the in the right space on one level they're not even morally in the right space of you know speaking in turn or any kind of space at all they have no respect for that they they're already in the disrespectful mental consciousness of ah you know what fuck the indigenous people man in fact i'm gonna call them niggers and just make it a joke. I'll just, I'll just be a comedian. Let's just say I'm a comedian. I can say whatever the fuck I want, man. You know, they're going to believe me. Why? Because, you know, I'm cool. I talk about real shit. I can say all kinds of... I can I can say anything. You know, you just, t- just tell them the truth. You can call them... For, they're, they're fucking stupid. They're not going to say anything. Look at them. They're, they're, they're fucking dead inside. They're ex-slaves. They're... Um, they've been whipped. They have generations of just, like... Um, just being destroyed... Slave masters were feeding their babies to fucking alligators. Um, you know, they were skinning them and, you know, making making shoes, you know, out of the skin of these fucking niggers. That's, that's, you know, this is the Owen Benjamin internal thought process that he doesn't say. But he is saying when he uses this word, these words. This, these are the words that are being said subconsciously out of the disrespect from speaking out of turn in the first place. Like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck that, does fucking, fucking niggers. Eh, so what? Fucking fed your babies to alligators. <clears throat> we took over your land, enslaved you. We're clearly the superior brain here. We clearly are the superior human consciousness. Look, we can throw it in your face and you won't say a fucking word. We can create scapegoats and you won't say a fucking word. What's wrong with you? You're dead inside. You don't matter. I can call you a nigger, nigger, nigger over and over and over again and you'll never it won't never matter. All I can all I have to do is say uh yeah, this is comedy. That's how deep that magic goes. And all in in their eyes to trigger, you know, what they need, which is that physical warfare. This is why the intelligence of the origins of this stuff is so important, because if you don't research this information that I'm that I'm bringing up, you will your only choice will be to respond to what or react to what, you know, they do in their physical consciousness. They want this war. That's why they're triggering this race shit. What I'm saying is that. You, in order to fight them triggering this race shit, you don't ignore it and say we're all human. You go to the depths of researching what the fuck that really is about. Know your shit. And then you make your move. Right now, you st- the, the biggest warriors out there against that happening are the people who are selling you this, you know, human infomercial. We're all human the fuck does that even mean do you think that's how that's how we got to here with that simple thing you think that it's going to be that simple of course not you have to actually go into the and and do that research to feel how you know how far we need to go otherwise you're just going to think like back when back when i was stuck in like the new age mentality i was just like uh 
I have all the answers for everything. We just need to meditate and just like be cool to each other and be nice and you know, be about love and and uh, just connecting with your soul and your spirit and everything will be okay. You can manifest anything into your reality as long as you just, you know, keep your vibrations high and keep tuning in to uh, the, 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 your relationship to the universe and that whole thing. It was, it, it was all just pillow talk. It was like slow, like small talk for yourself. You know, you put your, your, uh, your, 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 your doing pillow talk to yourself. You're like, ooh, baby, yeah, you're spiritually tuned in. Why don't you just chill out for a little while? And then after a while, you're like, wait a fucking second. This is, this is just as dead as being completely oblivious to like the McDonald's drive-through consciousness. It's the same thing. It's just got different pants and different shirt and a different you know, all kinds of different, you know, crystals, and <laughs> it's all for show, and a lot of that is a side effect to not, like I said, not having any origins, not having any experience, trying to jumpstart something without having any uh, stable uh, stability on the foundation level. This is why the New Age is so empty. This is why, just think about New Age community. What is that? Like, you can spend, you know, a whole month breaking that down. That's an, that's an alchemy against the people. How many people are breaking that down? Like, to the, to the umpteenth, you know, degree. Especially people who talk about the spiritual warfare. It's not that many people out there. If they do, it's tied into some basic sort of, yeah... Well, it's about this, and then, and then they sell you their belief systems again. Oh, well, just, you know, confess your sins to Jesus Christ and everything will be okay. That's the fix for a lot of these people. And and as soon as you say something, you know, how, you know, how, hey, and as soon as you say, like, hey, it might be a little bit more complex than that. It's like, oh, my God, you're a Satanist, or you're this, or you're that. And they got every label and every name in the book for you after that. Uh, what they're doing is they're also discrediting your ancestral connections. It's the same thing like when, when I talk about race and like colonialism and the white supremacy mind control program, the response is what? You're racist. Something's wrong with you. So all I'm saying is like let's start challenging ourselves to um, looking at these things from a lot a lot more in um, a deeper perspectives, deeper angles, <clears throat> so we don't. So we're not subjected to this shit. We're no, not blindsided. I know a lot of the people who turn tune into this this information regularly. You get you guys get it already. So you're not going to be blindsided. But that's that's kind of like the driving force of, you know, why I do a lot of these videos. Is I don't have any like particular investments in you know like what's happening. And I, I know if I can help anybody else, anybody else not get blindsided by some shit then i'll do that and if i am actually the one that blindsides them with something i'm okay with that because i know my intentions i trust my intentions so i'm okay with that i'll blindside with them you know the, it, it, and that's the thing it's not me doing it like that. Somebody has to, you know, show them the, a video or they have to find the video on their own. They, oh, my goodness. How dare you? He, this guy is low energy. <laughs> you know, they go off, go off on whatever. But <coughs> that's the thing. I don't know. Too, I don't have, you know, close relationships with many other people out there. I can listen to a lot of people, you know, I, I, I vibe with a lot of things that s certain people say. That's cool and everything. But, you know, you're only close with certain people. I'm pretty close with myself. So I know I trust myself. And I trust my intention. So I I trust myself to go to those extremes and be OK with those extremes. And I because I know if, you know, somebody gets blindsided by those extremes, I know that they can just cross reference back to, you know, something else if they really want to do the research. And then they'll be OK. They'll find their way back. You know, they, they'll find their way back to realizing that they actually weren't blindsided. They were just introduced to something that they may have never really thought was important enough to pay attention to because it was never a part of their reality or their life or their experience. So I'm OK with that because um, 
it's not really something that uh, um, yeah people people usually tend to figure it out on their own by uh, or not and that's the thing that's another part of this having detachment too yeah like uh, how I explain it sometimes it's not exactly simple as this but it's explain like having like the extremes of attachment and detachment like on the micro and the macro scale you can't be attached to every little micro event or thing that happens you'll drive yourself insane at the same time you can't ignore the micro or the macro world of happenings so how do you how do you interact with that well it's up to each and in each and every individual is beautifully diverse in interacting with that realm in their own way but people have a tendency to not tap into the depths of their ways of ta doing that in their own way when they subject themselves to individuals like Owen Benjamin, Joe Rogan and uh, Alex Jones who are out there to control the narrative which is to control the expansion of consciousness of these individuals so are the masses of people the, through the individuals now on internet now so they just need like four or five people to control like millions and millions of people and then like when you have regular people like like me and other channels who actually talk about this information now it's a threat and now they have a whole whole armies of people who are going to attack you um do the work for 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 them because um, they've already implanted those programs years and years and years ago. So a lot of the reasons why this stuff is taboo is because, you know, the extreme on the opposite end is that you have textbooks in education systems that are not telling you that slave masters used to feed indigenous babies to alligators. For one example... Why do, you, why do you think they're not selling you that? So you can love and cherish this government. So you can love and cherish your own enslavement. If they were really about education, they would be telling you that they used to feed slave babies to alligators as bait. They used to skin slaves to make shoes and pants, jackets and shit, lampshades. This is not a universal thing that happens. This is a very complex system that exists um, that, that hasn't at all been broken down from the medically from the, the medical perspective because who runs the medical perspective? The people who are saying that this shit was okay. It was law. It was written in the law to lynch people, to actually kill another being. The, the whole like <clears throat> casual killing act Emmett Till like all these things that's a heavy duty psychological thing for for just think of it as one person just think if one person showed up to your house and started to try and and tried to like install all of these laws like I can lynch you if you look at my white wife <laughs> you're looking at my white wife I can fucking kill you I can kill your whole family because 12 year old little boy you looked at you you looked at my white wife I'm gonna fucking string you up I'm gonna burn and I'm gonna do all this you know this has happened to people there's still lynches, lyn lynchings happening today because we've never gotten to the origins of this cancerous psychology and then people and the new way to not deal with that is people are running away and then they're just going into like back back in the 60s they ran to the civil rights act and they said oh yeah well we did this for you but they didn't deal with the actual cancer this these days they're they're, they're selling technology we did this for you this is yours or we'll get you some more jobs now we're gonna get you a a, a woman president we got you your freaking first uh, black president now we're gonna you know, <clears throat> make your first woman president look amazing by at first introducing you or or, or uh, putting up um, the uh, this piece of shit Donald Trump obvious piece of shit. So they might go. You know, they, they I don't think they'll make another eight years. 
out of I don't think they could squeeze another four years out of Trump. Um, that's another thing. If they do try to do that, it's not gonna it's not gonna last another four years. So they might you know that's another option that could be played. If they push you know for Trump to win, and that's the obvious implosion of the system, uh, and it's not gonna make it that long. People are not gonna make it that long. Um, the system, the, so the system wants to control, keep maintain control in some kind of way, or play the big hand. We never know. Um, but I think 2020 is going to be so um, heavy as far as you know things getting geared up to move. Look here, we are in 2019 already, uh, and you know look out, you know look at what's going on already. So <clears throat> look at the wave that could be. Uh, road or ridden if um you know the the left or whatever they're saying has a like a, a great victory against the villainous donald trump or like just think of the uh the exhale that would happen if donald trump didn't win in in 2020 it would be like oh god thank you so that's 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 very beneficial for the system the system needs that because that that exhale is comfort it's like oh how many years how many months and years could they get out of their new president from just that exhale they can get can get a whole three at least three and a half years by that time they'll, they'll be ready for another one and then in order to make it seem like it's real they'll just talk shit between the, those three years too and then you know boom here here we go so in that exhale, this is like a holding your breath. Donald Trump, you hold your breath for like four years. <gasps> and then whew, finally, oh, man, thank you, slave masters. Man, oh, it's fine. Oh, okay, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Technology, oh, cool, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, war, uh, whatever, just do your, uh, who, where, Venezuela? Uh, yeah, what, what, you know, whatever, guys, just do what you got to do. Uh, we're cool with it. So, you know, people not addressing these issues are just distractions from how far we can be going intellectually and and addressing the spiritual warfare, not listening to these, you know, misinformed and uninformed individuals who are saying like, well, you're just trying to start a race war and all this other stuff. No, that's they're saying that because they're too intellectually and spiritually dense to realize like what you're talking about they, they can only see it from the perspective of like bruce willis and ben affleck and armageddon that's that's like setting the bar so low so joe rogan owen benjamin and alex jones bill maher the mainstream media tyt all these other assholes mark dice that are put out there uh mark and patricia the flat earth behind the curve they, they put all out there to they put all that shit out there to set the bar so low so that when uh, whatever they try to sell for you in the next agenda will seem like it will seem amazing. <laughs> it will be the best thing ever. I'll leave it there. I keep ending and then starting back up. But I will definitely leave it there. Thank you for joining me. Thank you again for the support. Um, and yeah, just you know, keep on. Uh, Keep asking questions about what's going on. That's what I said in, the, in reference to. Oh yeah, I want, that's what I wanted to do in reference to that. Um, that Navy SEAL that was on uh, Joe, Joe Rogan's podcast. Uh, one thing that he did mention was the suicides, and the 22. Uh, the thing that's going on with that. Um, that's close to me because a close friend of mine, like I said, I joined with two of my friends best friends from high school uh, in the military and uh, uh, one of them actually did commit suicide so uh, this is why I speak you know in reference to that you know storyline sometimes <clears throat> because not to add to any kind of like certain perspectives but just to share my experience like I said that's my point with all of this because I know by, by sharing my experience, I can help somebody else not get blindsided by something. Whether it's a tiny thing or something huge, it's up to the individual. You know, I can just do my best is just to share the experience and then people will pick it up on their own. Um, but, see, this is how the, the, the heartstrings get played. 
in reference to like addressing like a, like addressing the colonial program and all that other stuff you also got to address like the the psychology of you know the the, the psychology the, the side effects see this is the thing they just mentioned <clears throat> the 22 suicides of veterans but they don't go into the like i said they don't go into the origins of you know why and how that stuff exists it's just oh yeah what's going on well you know veterans are always killing themselves because you know they're all fucked up well you know, medicate them or do all this other stuff or whatever that is. And how many times are they gonna do that? They're, they're, you know, while they're, 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 you're, they're, you know, distracting you, veterans are still killing themselves. This is why I said it's. It, we don't have any time to be fucking around. You know, people are still killing themselves and doing all this shit, and also people are still being attacked by these military-industrial complex-minded people who are still selling stuff to the rest of the world out of the ignorance of the individuals who are voting and allowing them to do that. So I'm not saying, you know, you know, just do this because, you know, I mentioned voting and, you know, the system and all that other stuff. I'm not that simple. And don't play me like I am or anybody else is that who listens to this video. Oh, because you're saying this, you think we should just let go of? No, don't be stupid. Don't be ignorant and don't be so damn simple. That's another mind control tactic. Oh, well, you think, you think, you should just, no. Calm your damn adolescent nerves for a moment and realize that just because I say this one thing doesn't mean that how you perceive what I say is what's going to be the outcome. No, because if you were to ask me to clarify what I'm saying, then you will understand a lot of the questions that you have based upon your own emotions because you ain't experienced this shit they don't even exist because i have the clarity for your ass but you don't allow yourself to go there because you go with your emotional adolescent response first instead of really thinking for yourself this is the problem with people who are consumed by their own emotions instead of allowing themselves to grow into the, the consciousness i'm not saying that emotion to be emotion less and, and passion less and all that other stuff no See, you see how I have to constantly, like, explain things because of people who are, you know, going to respond in a certain way. Um, that, that, that's, that, like I said, that existing is also existing because of the authority of talking points and people constantly speaking out of turn again. It's kind of like the comment section on the live chat on a lot of these videos on some of these premieres. You know, <clears throat> it'd be a whole thing. And it's kind of like somebody standing up. Well, what about this? You're like, wait, wait a second. I might be addressing what you're getting ready to, you, or what you've been talking about or what you're getting ready to, to ask if you just, you know, hang out and listen for a little while. I might have already addressed what you said way back when. And you just knew to this shit. That's another possibility, too. So anyway, I keep going. Man. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Let me leave it there. Uh, yeah. This is uh, something that needs to be addressed. These, these. It's not so much about the individual topics. It's about, you know, how you think. How you think about what you think. This is when people are really going to start to understand, understand and understand what's really going on with the white supremacy, mind control program and racism overall. And not just use it as a as like a, a a talking point or as a tool or a weapon to you know just bash somebody down that's what happens when they label you a racist i'm i'm calling you out for racism i'm labeling you for racism it's like wait are you that simple that's like a little ass kid why don't you actually go into the depths of understanding what racism actually is and a lot of times people don't even know what that is because they they just you know that they're subjected to their own limitations and like and, and this is what i wanted to end on this internet shit empowers people so you know simple-minded ass people like 
uh, Joe Rogan and Alex Jones, they wouldn't really have, and even and Owen Benjamin, a lot of these people, they wouldn't have a lot of people listening to them if they didn't have the backing of Hollywood and the backing of the white supremacy mind control program. They'd be less some, they'd be way less than some old regular ass people. You wouldn't be listening to Alex Jones and Joe Rogan if they weren't pushed into your and and Owen Benjamin if they weren't pushed into your your uh, reality on purpose. And Owen Benjamin appearing to be like this regular guy who is not, you know, this motherfucker is on YouTube slash Google. It is the fucking, like, let him start up his own website and see if he still gets 5,000 people constantly. And then see how long that lasts. No. His ass is getting help from fucking YouTube slash Google too because he's selling the agenda that they need to be sold. Whether he knows it or not is irrelevant. Is irrelevant. So that's why, you know, YouTube is the new mainstream media and they're, you know, prepping all these people to start talking about the new world order information. They're going to get Will Smith. I'm going to end this damn video. <laughs> thank you for joining me and uh, thank you for the support. And until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony. I can love corn.